Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Rewind in the Clouds. Today, we're breaking down the shared responsibility model. What it is, how it affects you as a user, and what it means for your SaaS data. As you probably know, desktop software is a dying class of apps. Almost everything is moving to the cloud these days. That's just because SaaS is it's a lot easier to deploy, it's generally more efficient to operate, and it's cheaper. It doesn't matter what business you're in, chances are you're using multiple SaaS tools today. And this trend, it's only accelerating. Now here's the thing though, working in the cloud is great, but it brings a risk that a lot of people, they're just not aware of. This is based really around a general misunderstanding of how cloud computing works. In the old days, software it ran locally. You bought the apps, you controlled the data, and it was all saved right there on your hard drive. But SaaS, it doesn't work that way. You don't buy the software, you rent it, you pay a subscription, you lease it. And that data, it's not saved locally. It's stored in the application, somewhere up there in the cloud. A lot of people think that if something is in the cloud, it's always there, it's always backed up, it's always secure. But that's only half right. Think of SaaS platforms as a giant Amazon warehouse. It's filled with products from many different vendors. SaaS platforms are really, really good at making sure they always have a backup that's ready to go if something bad were to happen, like a, like a meteor were to fall out of the sky. You know, another warehouse, just like the first one, with all the same products and people and everything to get that warehouse working again. Now, they're not so good at finding a misplaced box of candles in that warehouse, for example, and that's because they're at the warehouse level, they're not at the candle level. Recovering the missing candles or your account level data, well, that's worse than looking for a needle in a haystack. It's actually kind of like looking for a needle in a field of haystacks, if I'm being honest. It's why a lot of SaaS apps tell people in very plain language that they are not responsible for their data. You know the terms of service thing that you probably didn't read, but you clicked okay on anyway? It's actually right in there. And this brings us back to that shared responsibility model where the keyword here is shared. SaaS shares the responsibility of protecting data with their customers, with you. SaaS platforms take care of all the big infrastructure things, but you as the user, you're responsible for the stuff that you enter into that platform. Okay, so how do you protect that data? You need to store a copy of it somewhere and you have to put it back if there's a problem, like somebody does something accidentally or maybe even maliciously. Now, how often you make a copy of that data really depends on how much data you're willing to lose and how much risk you're willing to take if something bad were to happen. Daily backups are great. Weekly backups, that's pretty good too. But really, the longer you wait, the greater the risk of a complete disaster from striking. And trust me, we know, we see it every day. You should really keep a copy of that data separate from the original platform as well. If you think about it, if you were to lock your keys inside your car, those spare keys that you have, they're not that helpful if they're actually trapped inside the glove box. So that's the shared responsibility model. SaaS platforms and their customers, folks like yourself, you share the burden of keeping SaaS data safe. And if you do your part, nobody has to go hunting for those missing needles. Or was it candles? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.